This video explains how to describe quantitative distributions with numbers. We need measures of centers to describe the distributions with numbers. The first measure is the measure of centers and we are going to see two different types, mean and median. Measures of spread will have quartiles and standard deviation. We need the five number summary to construct a diagram called box plot. And we'll be learning about IQR and using how IQR how to find the outliers and dealing with outliers. The first one is the measure of center, which is the mean. The mean or arithmetic average is given as x bar, which is the total of all those values divided by n. Or if we call those numbers as x1, x2, x3, etc., xn, we add them up and divide by n. So sigma i ranging from 1 to n xi divided by n is our mean, and it is denoted by the symbol x with a bar on top. The next measure is the median. The median is always the midpoint of the distribution. And before finding the midpoint, we have to check whether it is put it in proper order, either in ascending or descending order. After sorting them out, let us see how to find uh, the median for a given distribution. There are 25 values given here, and they are already sorted out. 0.6 to 6.1 and it is easy to pick the middle term because the 13th entry will be the middle term so 3.4 will be the median of this distribution so if it is odd the you'll have only one middle term and that will be the median of the whole distribution instead if we have even number of terms like this there will be two middle terms the average of those two will be the median. So if it is even, you'll get two middle terms, the average of those two. So in this case, 3.3 plus 3.4 divided by 2, which is 3.35, will be the median. Now, comparing the mean and median, the median is a measure of center and that is resistant to skew and outliers. But the mean is not. That is, if it is symmetric, we know that the mean and median coincides at the center. The mean and median will be the same. Suppose if we take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, then the median will be 3 and the mean also will be 3. So if it is not symmetric, if it is skewed, say it is left skewed, then the mean will be pulled towards this outlier. So mean will be pulled towards this uh, left skewed, towards the left direction. So mean will be less than the median. If it is right skewed, then mean will be pulled towards the right side. So the mean will be greater than the median in this case. The next measure is the measure of spread. The first measure is the quartiles. The quartiles is nothing but the three numbers which divide the whole distribution into four equal parts. We have already picked the median. Median is the middle term, so 3.4. So excluding this 3.4, you have got two sets of values, one lying above and the other one lying below. If we can pick the same uh, method uh, to find the first quartile, that is find the middle term for the first set of data. And in this case, we have got two middle terms, the sixth entry and the seventh entry. So the average of those two, 2.1 and 2.3, which is 2.2 will be the first quartile. The middle term for the second set of data, excluding 34, which is from 36 to 61, you have two middle terms again. The average of those two, which is 4.35, will be the third quartile. 
So we have three points here, Q1, median, and Q3, which divide the whole distribution into four equal parts, and that's why it is called the quartiles. So the first quartile, let's see an example to find the quartiles. There are 18 values given. The skin healing rate are given here. First, we have to sort them out. So after sorting them out, we can pick the middle term. Since there are even number of terms, when you count, there are even number of terms. So you have two middle terms here, 26 and 27. So for this, if we pick the average of these two, which is 26.5 will be 26.5 will be the um, median. After picking the median, we have two sets of values, one lying above and the other one lying below. So the middle term for this one, which is 22, will be our Q1. The middle term for all this, which is our 33, will be our Q3. So we have Q1 as 22, median is 26.5, and the quartile is 33. Third quartile is 33. The next one is the measure of spread, which is the standard deviation. This, in order to find the standard deviation, we take the square root and get the standard deviation. The formula to find the standard deviation is square root of 1 by n minus 1 sigma 1 to n x m minus x bar the whole square. Scan, standard deviation is measure is a measure to find the deviation and how we are trying to find how these values are deviated from the mean x bar. And that's why we find x i minus x bar the whole square. Instead of using a table, we can also use our technology that is our graphing calculator to get the standard deviation, that will be easier. Let's see an example to calculate the standard deviation. So you have seven sample values given. These are the seven observations. When we find the mean for this, x bar will be 1,600. We add all those xi divide by seven, so x bar will be 1,600. We can find the deviation of each obser observations from this mean xi minus x bar and square them, sum it up. So x bar is 1600. We sum all those values and divide by n minus 1. So our s square will be 1 by n minus 1 sigma xi minus x bar, the whole squared, which is 35,811.7. So this S squared is nothing but the variance. When we take the square root of the variance, that will give us the standard deviation 189.2. So this the standard deviation tells us how these values are deviated from the mean. So if I'm taking um, the point 1439, it is the deviation is negative 161. And for 1792, the deviation is in the positive side, 192. So the standard deviation is a measure to find the deviation from the mean. And the square of the standard deviation is your variance. In order to find the mean, median, quartiles, and standard deviation, we can also use a graphing calculator, TI-83 and 84, to find this. So in our calculator, if we enter all those values and select stat calc one variable statistics and calculate the result, we get x bar, which is the mean, as 25.6667. And sx is the standard deviation. sx, which is 8.3243, will be the standard deviation. And if you go down, scroll down, use the cursor to go down, scroll down, you can find the value for Q1 as 22, median is 26.5, and Q3 
is 33. So this video helped us to understand how to describe quantitative distribution using numbers. Hope this video will be helpful to you. Thank you for listening and thank you for watching.